Howdy people. Today we are down at Windang and I've just stopped in at BCF and raided their clearance drawer. Today I've grabbed a, um, a bottom basher. Makes a lot of noise so we'll see how this big bright little fella does. And something for the top. Little popper. Makes a lot of noise as well. Pretty clear, bit of a pink on it so no idea how these are going to go, especially because I've got on special some 17 pound braid. This thing here itself already weighs nine grams, so we're using up a fair bit of that braid already. Uh, it should be a bit fun if I have a uh, fish get on. So I'm going to throw this straight onto the reel. Nothing special, I'm just going to tie knots everywhere, no swivels, no nothing. We're just going to Fish quick and nasty. See how we go, eh? Plenty. Okay, so this is 2020, first fish of the season down Wingdang. I've all spilled up, got it all set, ready to rock. So let's see what this uh, inlet here at Wingdang's got to offer. I only got the braid on, so I'm um, gonna be careful of all these uh, oyster leases because this will just cut straight through my braid. We've got um, all the guppies running down through here, so that's a good sign. We'll follow it up, go up to the bridge maybe and see what the fishermen are up there are doing, get some info off the locals. Okay, just underneath the bridge, got some fishermen down there, guy with his son. Looks like it's just a couple of leftover tourists up here, which is pretty much what I am, I don't know this area at all. Got sandbars running all through that side, so deep water here. I'm going to just flick it along here, see if I can just see how this thing behaves on the rod once again. Right in between all the oysters here, so I gotta be careful. So this is the last day of the holidays for me. I mean, I've still got tomorrow, but I'll have to get ready for work tomorrow. I don't see where that went. So that's how it sits. Um, designed to bash along the bottom, so let's see if this stirs anything up. All right, so just short ones like that. Should be right, all right, let's give this another crack before these guys come through. Today I'm fishing in my Keens. They're my um, sandals, open-end sandals. These are good for getting in the water. Um, great for bushwalking and I uh, reckon they'll do just fine in here. If I get any um, mud flaps, they'll actually hold onto my feet unlike thongs um, and they'll still protect my feet from any shells I don't see underneath the ground. So get on down to Anaconda and grab yourself a set if you really are into that kind of thing. Like we've got some decent flow here yeah it's pretty good decent flow straight under the bridge it's channeling in i got no idea what i'm shooting for here but that swims beautifully let's give it a crack eh So I've changed the braid on here. This I used to have this black braid. I'm not sure what brand it was. Might have been the Berkeley, but it was uh, really loud through here. It was I um, don't think I actually ever caught anything on it. To tell you the truth, but we've got a bit of whiting down here. I'm not chasing the whiting, but it's good to see that they're there. Let's see what the whiting do. 
it's not quite heavy enough to go down. So, all right. It gives you an idea of how current is. So let's just let it float and then I'll bring it back in. No idea what I'm doing, but having fun. 2020. Today is like the 6th of January. Miss has started a new job today, so that's why I'm still down here today. I thought I might just make the most of the morning. So I'm using the um, Beastmaster 602 spin line. It's got a two to four kilogram weight, so plenty strong enough for what we're doing here. All right, let's do a faster retrieve on this one. Whoops, shit gets sticky. Beautiful. Got 17% left of battery on the GoPro, so I don't know how long the GoPro is going to hold out for. I've fished up all here, the water is just coming through so strong now, I can't even get the uh, the lure down to the bottom, it's just too strong. Uh, the uh, what the whiting's chasing it pretty well, oh, that's pretty cool. Check that out. Yeah, the whiting's chasing it, so they're interested, they want to know what it is. I don't see any um, flathead holes or anything around here at the moment unless they've all been washed away from the high tide. I've got no idea. No idea whatsoever. But anyway, I'm going to go back to the car and see if I can throw you on charge. And um, I think I'll just fish with my phone for the rest of the day. Just whiting everywhere. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, the whiting, love it. Here they come. So the water's pretty still here, like it's coming down through there. So out in the middle, I reckon there might be a bit of a current. It's well over knee deep. But what do we got in here? Nothing. Might just flick through here somewhere. Might go around the other side of this pylon just here. Ugh. Dumb. Flick out that way for a little while and then um, yeah, I might have to switch over to the phone because this GoPro ain't going to last much longer. To the bottom in the deep, in the shallow water. Sl slow water. Alright. Let's see if I can't knock off a few photos. This looks pretty cool in here. Yeah. Alright, just been flicking here, thought I was on, but um, looks like there's a bit of weed running through there. I'll flick out a couple more times, see if there's anything in there. It's pretty shallow along here. That's why I really thought flatheads would be um, the go. I suppose you've got to pull them out of their holes, but I guess, I don't know. Oh, there's that weed again. It's where the uh, shoes really come good. Let's go over there. 
That's a hermit crabs. Seeing she's pulling up there, I might just um, shoot out here. Won't disturb them. Maybe it wasn't weed just over there. It was might have been just all the shells here. What do we got? Go out again. Get it going. I've had to uh, stop for a quick toilet break. There's a toilet box over there. I'm only fishing near the uh, park here. I reckon this place is pretty fished out. Gonna go to the toilet, come back and um, uh, keep fishing until I can, um, oh sweet, just about a swivel. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep fishing until I can't get back across the river here because I'm on a little island. It's starting to rain a little bit, so that's nice. Don't mind fishing in the rain. How about you? All right, so the GoPro's flat, so I'm on the phone now. You'll notice a difference in quality on the video. But um, yeah, let's get something, eh? Just gotta cross here somewhere. Yeah, see? So this will all fill up once the tides changes. I don't think that's gonna happen while I'm here. So I've got a fair bit of time to fish. Yeah, sweet. That uh, seems to be a wrap for Windang. Um, not a luck, no bites. Nothing chasing me in except um, puffer fish and whiting, bit of mullet. Just putting that window down. That's how we do it. Not ready to give up fishing, so I'm not putting the fishing pole away. Got to make sure this little bugger is inside the window. So that's got to come down, down to about here. I'll do that now. See that? That's perfect. The window will sit here, that'll be inside the car. That can come up a bit if I pull the right one. That'll do us. Now we do the window up. Obviously not too much, because I don't want to break the rod. That's how we, uh, travel with our rods in a dual cab. All right guys, if I see you again, have a happy new year. I know it's already started, but um, till then. G'day, me again. You'd never believe it. I've just, I was heading back up to Sydney. Um, of course I left my fishing line set up, so I um, pulled off onto Wingdang Road to go check out the lake here and it is absolutely stunning. It is so overcast that like even with my own eyes, it's like completely hazed. It's um, going back to the car to get the camera and um, hopefully I can capture it. Then check this out.